All right, so today we are headed to White House, Tennessee, which is about a 20 minute drive north of where we live. Uh, the wife and I, Liz, uh, we're going to go to White House because why not? It's a nice day. And perhaps most importantly, we're going to the White House flea mall. It's one thing to go to a flea market or even a flea shop, I guess. But this is a flea mall. So we're going to go check out what a flea mall is in White House, Tennessee. Utah, if we had green up, this this kind of looked like a like a drive not, up in the mountains. Not this green though. I wonder. I know you can just buy different trees from a nursery and plant them, right? Right. But aren't most don't most of these just seem like they're just growing? Well, yeah. yeah. Nobody planted. I mean, this is all just. I mean, these are all just people's houses, but. I mean, the it's green space in between. Yeah. So what kind of trees? I mean, look at just the difference in the trees. What are they? Should be just up here. Oh, Tennessee Flea. Did you wear this? That over that. I'd like to see it. Yeah. Anything. I don't even know what these are. These are... Those are probably... Bobblehead. I mean, these look like collectibles. You know, the thing about our really Every time I come to a place like this, I keep thinking there I'm going to find a toy or some iconic product from my childhood to bring me nostalgia. And it's it's either way too old or way too new. Like there's nothing. There, I'm, so my my quest is to find one thing. Look behind you. Do you remember those things? That yellow blue thing. What this? Uh, yeah, my brother had something like that. They're weird. You're you're, but you're you're weird. I mean, you came from a weird place, Snowflake Arizona. It's not weird. You came from 
Michigan. I'm just saying, that's not what you I mean. You never saw this, this? This would be like handmade by your mother. No, or... I think my grandma brought them. Okay, your grandma. This looks like you. Yeah, there I am. This, this, is, this is from my childhood. My dreams of being with a red-headed skank. Oh my. <laughs> they never came true. <laughs> so I did find one thing so far that comes from kind of my childhood, which is, uh, you know, Scooby-Doo cartoons. We loved those on Saturday mornings, but um, this one is uh, past Scooby the Doobie. So it's an ashtray for, I don't even, I don't, do you even get ashes from, from a joint? I, having never, it seems like the paper just all blows away. Isn't that the little stuff that, like, Lily has? Well, we have one at our house, but it's just, I don't know what it is. I wonder if people actually buy things when they come to a flea market, or if it's literally just a place to come stroll and uh, kill time, because, wait a sec. What'd you say? I would buy this. You would buy that? It's only 70, look at it, it's pretty. I like it. Wouldn't that be nice? Ooh, I have we really have nice plenty of, we don't even have things to put in the drawers or put on top. I would like a dresser in the bedroom. We have dressers. Upstairs. Oh, oh, the upstairs. I guess I may not be an actual man because some of the things that are for sale in the man cave area have no appeal to me whatsoever. I found one, one thing that appears to be from my childhood roughly and that's the magic eight ball, but uh, this looks like, you know, a newer one. It's not specific to my childhood because they've been making these for ever for younger kids too so let's ask it a question um uh what, what's a good question to ask will i ever find a good job <laughs> uh still it's still thinking a piece of junk. It doesn't. <laughs> Here, here's the answer. It's just a liquid blue line. Uh, the thin blue line. It's the You're gonna be a police I'm officer. Be a police officer. Thank you. You've, you've solved the puzzle. So this little helmet actually reminds me of my childhood. There was a time for a while there when it was in style to wear the hard batting helmets of your favorite teams. Unfortunately, this one is um, but a replica. We actually wore the uh, full-size batting helmets in the 70s. Didn't last long. It wasn't terribly comfortable. So the actual Tennessee Flea Mall is... Um, it's cool, but underwhelming. Still a nice little drive out to look at some fun stuff. Jesus, blessing the dinosaurs. <laughs> 